Hello, today we're going to show you how to make an Andy Mark Tuck box. This is Lucy, Isabel, Kyle, and Nick. Remember two things. Safety first and, and spot the yellow truck. Alright, Isabel. I want you to put bolts to, to hammer these two bolts in. Put their bearings. And now you you put this one closer to the two to the two little holes. And now you're going to get this one. You face the inside side line up. Flat side up. Flat side up. Okay. And now you're going to put put this little one. Uh, and put it always on with the bump. The bump up. The bump up. The kit comes with two roll pins, so you have two chances mm -hmm. to insert the roll pin into the outlet shaft. Insert the roll pin on a hard surface so that the roll pin does not bend. Once the roll pin is centered in the shaft, you're finished. Here you go, Lucy. Thank you. You gotta tell us what you're doing. Now put this on. Always put it up bum side. And always hold it when you put it on. Now I want to invite my friend up, Rachel. Next you need to grease the gears. Use either a lithium general grease or a wheel bearing grease. And use a, a, a screwdriver to spread it on. Don't get too much on, or it will become too greasy. And that is how you grease the gears. Now you put the bearing bear on. Now always look it on. And now you get you get this and you put it this and you point it to, and you put the sticker by, by the camera. The next step in the process will be to fasten your whole gearbox up. Take the four bolts out of the kit. Go ahead and make sure the head of the bolt is by the output shaft. Next, we're going to take quarter twenty nuts and put them on the bolts. You can just hand crank them on a little bit. They are nylon, so they won't go all the way on. Next, we're going to actually fasten it tight. You can either use a power screwdriver or a regular Allen wrench. I'm going to choose to use the power one. 
And also you can use a nut driver or a simple wrench. Just start by going at it. Remember to have your torque setting set relatively stiff but not too overly tight. And then the good thing to do is to go diagonally when putting together a gearbox. You go to the diagonal. A machine key. Then you put on the gear. Then I want to invite my, my friend up next. Take the clip, pull the motor, the gear to the motor, and spin, use your fingers to start it onto the shaft. Once you get started on the end, take a nut driver or a socket and push it the rest of the way on the shaft. And then you can use your fingers to pull it up against the gear. Good job, Lucy. Next, we are going to bolt the motors onto the gearbox. You're going to take your 1032nd screws, all ready with thread locks, so please do not add any Loctite to it. It will eat away at the Lexan. And we're going to attach it to the motor. We're going to take our 532nd Allen wrench. And this is very tricky, so you're going to want to have somebody else help you here, like Nick. Run the screw through, and be sure to line up the holes with the open one, not the one with the studs already in. We're going to make sure the gears mesh along the way. And you just tighten it down. Not all the way. Not all the way. Then you take your second screw, turn up here. Once again, please do not add Loctite, it'll just eat away at the Lexan. So just leave the thread locker that's already on the bolt. Are they tight now? Now we're actually going to tighten them all the way down. And then remember throughout the year of using them, just make sure they're tight because they tend to work loose every now and then. And you have your tough box ready to go. The kit comes with two PVC spacers that will help locate the 15 tooth sprocket on the output shaft. The machine key is also included to hold the gear onto the shaft to prevent it from turning. After such steps are taken, you can take the final two parts in the kit, put the washer on the quarter 20 screw, and then go ahead and screw it on.